Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as... We did Maggie last time, I think. We could do Judas to Mother. Judas to Mother sounds like a fun one. And I think next episode we'll jump back into the deleted again. We always love a bit of deleted. And like I said, I really want to... I want to try and abuse the hell out of deleted to get some hard achievements. We've already done the rerun one, which I think was a pretty good choice. Um, although we did have to do it a little bit console commandy because we had so much damage we were crashing the game. Pretty fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I would like to uh, try and get my donation machine filled as well. Ooh, no, Amnesia. I'm pretty... Wait, did, did I already have the curse that didn't show me the map, or am I just stupid? What what curse do I have? Oh, no, I think I have the one that doesn't show me items. Down to... Oh, ho, ho. okay. Skill shot from this boy here. Did you see that? That was pretty impressive. So if you didn't see what happened there, I killed the tall boy, and as I killed him, he yeeted his hand at me. And it hit me, and I took damage. That was pretty funny. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad of a room. I want to try and take out the little dude first. Yeah, there you go. Of course, one hit away from death isn't my ideal scenario, I've got to say. But we'll get some health out of these poops. You see? You see? In nothing to it, like asking for what you want. Most of you, you don't realise it. I've said this before. People say... YouTuber look. No, 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 no. The problem is you're not talking to yourself while you play. If you talk to yourself while you play and verbally ask for what you want, the game knows. It hears you and it will reward you. YouTuber look doesn't exist. It's just talking to yourself while you're playing. Honestly, the next run you play, if you're comfortable enough to do it, try just talking to yourself for the entire duration of the run and pretend you're doing a YouTube video, and every now and again, ask for stuff that you want, and I guarantee you have good luck. It just, it just works. In Todd Howard's almighty wisdom, the way of, the way of Todd Howard, it just works. Anyways, our item room this time is going to be, unfortunately we can't get both of these, it's going to be Acid Baby. Not bad, I do not mind Acid Baby, especially if we can get something that gives us positive pills. Um... I would like to get another active charge for our boss, but honestly, it doesn't look like we're going to manage to do that. Uh, I will go to my shop and see if I can buy a soul heart, though. We're going to try and do mother here, so I don't really mind taking my sweet time here. As long as you guys don't mind, too. I would like to get that bomb, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Secret room is a little bit up in the air at the moment. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that would be. Um, probably just up from here. Um, okay, what are we going on here? So we've got zero cent item to use in here. I'll... Use it and see what happens. It was a D20, so we did get a soul heart. Well, that's kind of nice. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is secret room here. It just looks very secret roomy, so I'm going to waste my bomb. And unfortunately, I was incorrect. Okay, I, I don't actually know where else it could be. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get another charge. Wasted bomb. It is what it is. We've still got a key to go down to the mother floor, so we're good on that front. Um, Let's take these guys out. Unfortunately, Acid Baby was not very useful until we get a pill. I mean, I think he does spawn pills. I don't remember if he does. I'm pretty sure he does. Um, so we, we'll get some guaranteed value out of him soon. Uh, but I'll try and use him for damage as much as I can. I mean, being able to poison a whole room, it's pretty valuable early game. Late game, it, it, gets, it gets to the point where it's not so useful anymore. But early game, it's pretty good. So if we can get some pills off of this guy. I mean, also, it gives me more reason to want to use pills, which is always a nice thing. Uh, we get ourselves Arrow of Light, which is decent. The shot speed is nice. Um, and the, the piercing during the uh, Curse of Darkness. It's interesting. It's not the best. Um, we got Curse of Blight this time. So, yet again, we can't really see stuff. Oh, God. This guy is... Uh, he's got some high tosses on those uh, on those shots. But, yeah, the, the extra fire rate is always nice. The extra shot speed, though... It's pretty big. I mean, shot speed's not typically a stat that anyone really cares about. But I think, like, giving a 1.5 times on your shot speed um, instantly is pretty darn good. Because most shot speed increases are very small and incremental. Like, most things give you, like, 10 or something. Rather than um, giving you a whole 50. Or 0.5, should I say. 0.1 versus 0.5. You know what I meant. We'll go straight for our boss here. As for the question of the day, um... Hmm. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a great one in mind today, I'll be honest. It's a shame. I don't really have a great one in mind. Um, oh, I didn't knew you were going to do that. 
But I forget what this guy does. Hmm. What's your most recent really, really avoidable fucker? <laughs> like, when's the last time you spilt hot food on you or something? I don't know. Get some HP here. Uh, we'll leave the devil deal, of course. That is, of course, not what I meant to do. I just wanted the fucking penny, man. <laughs> well, we skipped an item room. We've got ourselves some planetarium chance going now, I guess. That is... I, I didn't even get a chance to go to the shop. Ugh. At least I didn't do it on this floor, but that is... Pretty big fuck up on my part there. That's like the first time I've done that in quite some time. Oh god, the knockback here makes things a little harder. I think the shot speed does increase our knockback as well, you know. Or if that's just an inherent effect of the item, maybe. Okay. Put this guy's out. Oh god, I've got a bunch of sweet corn on my teeth. I just went for uh, lunch with my friend and I had uh, a chicken pitta and uh, sweet corn, like a corn on the cob. It was very nice, but yeah, now it's kind of stuck to the teeth. I did get our two bombs, lovely. One of those is a champion, I'm pretty sure. This guy's explosive champion. Yes, he is. We did get ourselves a first pill. Um, we don't have a key for that yet. I'd like to get a key for the shop. We'll probably need a planetarium key on this floor, maybe, as well. We've got 40% chance this floor. Lovely tears up there. Nice. Great to see. Forget what this guy does. Yeah. Do you know what? Oh, you bastard. He moves in a strange way. Okay. This run is officially kind of trash uh, because of my my mistakes. I'm really hoping I can pull it back with a good item room shop and planetarium. But based on the fact that we currently have zero keys, I'm not going to say the chances of that are super high. We shall see. So far, so terrible. Oh, boy. I'm almost dead as well, so we've got that going for us, too. Dude. Ain't nobody need pennies right now. Cool. Extra pill. Can I actually get that pill? I think I'll just die by walking on that stuff, right? Does that stuff not dissipate? Oh, there you go. What? Speed up. 10% chance for Rimrod to be a key. Little bit fucking late game, but... I'll let you have it. Get that gone. This is a horrible, horrible room. I really want to use my bombs, but I know that I'll regret it if I do. For being one hit away from death, I really am not a fan of this. Okay, one of them's dead. Do not go back down there, you freak. Okay, we got there in the end. A key! No planetarium either, which is very upsetting. Um, I'll go item room. I'm probably going to regret it, but I'll give it a go. <gasps> Boss trap room is available too. That's very good. We'll definitely grab that. <laughs> Isaac's heart. Soul cleaver? Why not? Why not do a bit of soul cleaving? And we'll see if we live. If we don't live, it's a quick restart for us, but I don't really mind after the fuck-ups that have befallen me. My wisp saved me there. And again. Is he dropping stuff from the ceiling? Because if he is, yeah, I'm not, not very ready for it. Yeah, that one that went about as well as you could have expected. Okay, that that basically all of that I'm blaming on that absolute fuck up that I made at the start. That's the entire reason that happened. Don't like this. Got him there. We go again. Good bit of Judas. Never never worry about a bit of Judas. 
The streaking hull thing that I was planning on doing has very much gone down the drain, but I think we're having a fun time with Isaac at the moment. We're not really... We're playing to win, but we're not really playing to streak. And I don't know, streaking's fun, and I do like the having more of an objective. It was a lot of fun getting up to our 30-odd streak, but as people did mention, it does take a w little bit away from, like, a modded streak because you can't play modded characters as much because they're so risky. You can't play the Lost, you can't play the Keeper if you want to actually keep a streak, whereas, yeah, it's it's kind of like an artificial streak if you don't include those characters and stuff, but, eh, whatever. I'd like to do an Eden streak, but it's just not, it's just not that interesting for YouTube, I don't think. But I, personally, I'd enjoy doing one. But I just I don't know if people really want, really want to see that. I think people more want to see variety and modded characters than they want to see Eden. Um, we got ourselves conjunct devices here, which is it just slowing tears? Um, yeah, slowing tears. Yeah, that's that's decent enough. I do not mind that. If it's slow on hit as well, that's even better, but I don't think it will be. It'll, it'll just be slow on, um... Oh, no, it's slow on hit. Okay, wow. It's very good. Basically, this is better Spider Bite, although I think the slow is, like, lasts for less time than it would with Spider Bite. This is good stuff, this. This is good stuff. We do not have a key currently, uh, but we don't need one. In fact, we'll get one right here, so... We got range, unfortunately, out of that. I do wonder with, um... With that item, um, the Consolation Prize, if it takes into account stats like from the Book of Belial, like does it count me as having higher damage? Excuse the fuck me. Why? Ah, oh, I hate knocking back enemies into myself. We got Boiler again here. Okay. I clearly am not very good at the boiler floor because I don't really understand it. Oh, God, we got the hot bomb version of this guy. This guy's so aggressive, the hot bomb one. I'd like him to blow up this rock over here, but I don't know if he's going to. Come on down here, fella. Not really what I was hoping for. Oh, dude won't even... Oh, just throw the bomb over this way, you piece. Is this a Yerrow? This one might even not be, even be any use. Just, just, just die. Right, I'm going to try something here, and I'm going to hope it works. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to bomb this. Yeah! Look at that. Beautiful. It all worked out. It all worked out, people. God damn. Chest there. Dude, the bombs today. The bombs. Okay. I think at this point I will go for a bomb here. Lovely bit of money. Yeah, a bit of a rough start so far, but that's never turned me off before. I can I can do it. I can keep it going. Right, quickly check out this. We do have this, which will obviously bomb. Don't have a key for it, which is annoying. Uh, soul heart available. We'll probably grab that before we leave the floor. Second secret room is likely to be here. Fucking fantastic trinket off the bat here. <gasps> no way. Oh, 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 yes. That's like one of the rarest poops in the entire game. I actually apparently got one of these poops, like, on my very first Fiend Folio run and was very confused. Um. Okay. So first of all, definitely buy the Soul Heart. That's obvious. Don't know if I want to buy the Bible for the, um... For the bookworm transformation, or if I want to buy the flechette. I don't know. We'll see. That I will take. Secret room's likely to be here, I think. So I'll try that out. Used all my bombs up now. But for a worthy cause, we get a quality, which I'm obviously not taking. Quality is... Oh, quality needs a rework. It's so trash. There's a lot of trinkets that need reworking. Oh, there's another tinted rock there. God damn it. 
King Worm, unfortunately, not very good. It's only really good on like the Forgotten. You get the range ups, but otherwise it's not particularly amazing. Um, I guess I will take the, fl the Flushette, because why not? Flushette is, um, all Wisps um, have double HP and deal a double damage. Um, it also gives us a blackout and pick up and spawn some Wisps, so uh, not bad. I'll buy the key and open this up and see what's in it. Yeah, pretty happy with my decision here. Pretty happy with my decision. Let's go ahead and uh, take you on. This this run's definitely our best so far, and we've still got a key available here for um, getting down to the next floor. And we got smooth stone. Okay, this this run. Oh my god, this run slaps. Okay, I literally couldn't care less that I um, that I died on those other two runs because this they they perished. So this this run could live. Because this run slaps harder than your nan. Um, okay, unfortunately pretty bad room there. Do get yourself one bomb already. Good stuff. Dun, 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 dun. I'm liking the wisps doing a bunch of extra damage right now. That's kind of nice. Right, boss time while we've got a charge. Again, we'll still probably go Angel Deal here. Snake Oil is not particularly useful, but it's somewhat nice to have, I guess. Larger tier size might help our Nose Goblin stick easier. I don't actually know. Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. But if they are able to hit easier, it's going to help. Nice. We do not have a key currently for our item room, so it looks like we're going to miss out on that unless this room gives us one. Good old Foghorn. Ooh, baby. Yes. Just in the nick of time. Um, we get Clutch's Curse. Pr nah, I'm going to take the random. Hot Bombs is probably not as good as Clutch's Curse, but Clutch's Curse has gotten me hit so many times that I'm kind of thankful for just getting Hot Bombs here. Right. Um, okay, well, we're good to go now. Next floor, away we go. Yeah, things are things are looking good. We got some speedy, speedy stuff happening with our damage and just ability to clear rooms. It's nice. This guy's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Luckily, he wasn't actually that bad. Boom. Pop our damage straight away. Just any large room, we're gonna get most of the charges back. Might as well pop it. Wow, that was easy. Uh, I might as well bomb this for the getting a bomb back and thingy chance. Crawl space. God damn, those bugger tears. They hitting hard. Okay, still no keys currently, but we have all the bombs we need. Always good to see. I love these guys. These are really cool enemies. Hey, there's our key. Lovely. Um, and we have good old Gimpei. Glitter Bombs would have been interesting. Glitter Bombs plus Hot Bombs is a decent mix of stuff. Being able to use them a bit more aggressively, but I th I'd say that Gimpy's probably the better thing here, definitely. Just because Gimpy, I mean, Soul Hearts is nice, but also the ability to gain a lot of Red Hearts means that Blood Donation Machines and stuff become more viable. It's got a lot of uses. I think Gimpy's... One of the stronger on-hit item effects, because it has a separate effect of giving us the red hearts as well. And the chance of giving you soul hearts is actually decent. Like 25% or something like that, isn't it? Don't know how how aggressive it is, but it's good either way. Right, let's go in here and do this first. This is definitely a boss we can do twice. Good, good. We did get perfection, but we're not going to take it. Much more happy with what we currently have. We got our angel deal right off the bat here. Godhead baby, not too bad. I will take a key piece here for the um, increased chance of a eternal heart. Danka danka. Uh, what's our card here? Moon, I'll definitely take moon. In fact, I'm just going to use moon now. I'm not entirely sure where secret room is. Hey, and we got dad's ring, which... 
isn't particularly good, but it's it's a little bit of extra protection against enemies that are uh, melee focused because they'll run at us and freeze. So it's it's nice. It's nice. But white fire's just down here. there lovely right pop into our white fire i'm gonna do the boss again i'm fairly confident with the boss especially now that we've got a charge too dun, 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 dun. right where are we going for the boss get this way We had a lot of extra room drops on the way here, which I very much like. Explosives there. Not my thing, thank you. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and we get ourselves this, which unfortunately is a shame because we got perfection on the last floor rather than this one. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get that back, but... Still. Right. Good bit of herming going on with our stuff right now as well. And we grab ourselves a piece. Thank you, thank you. And we can head ourselves back out of the mirror. And through the normal way. Good stuff, good stuff. Right. Oh wait, maybe it was perfection on this floor? There's, there's two trinkets in there, so maybe it was. <gasps> it was! Ho ho! Baby. Okay. Perfection's obviously not going to last that long for us, really. Um, Unlikely to, at least. But the fact that we've got Nose Goblin gulped now means that, why not? Also, our health is looking pretty swanky. By the way, uh, someone pointed out there's actually no reason to go to the mines with the mod that I have, where you get the knife piece uh, for going mother. So I could technically just skip it, but honestly, I feel like it's just fitting with um, with how the game's supposed to be played to go to the mines. That's kind of why I go. Can we just point out as well that Flushette has kept all of my uh, wisps alive so, so far? I've only had four wisps and all of them are still alive. I think that's pretty impressive. What we got going on in here? Glass cannon. Glass cannon is kind of an interesting one. Because we do we are using perfection right now, so not a bad idea. Nah, I'll take this in case. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed now. Getting a lot of actives at the moment. Didn't really work out for us. I mean, five extra bombs is nice, but... It's nothing major, is it? It's nothing super exciting. Right, these enemies are a bit troublesome, so... Take them up before they do their attacks. Got ourselves some butter bean. Shame. Oh, item-wise, things are slowing down a bit, sadly. But the shop could revitalize me. What What do you have for me this day? Two active items! Yay! By the way, I do have a mod on that reduces the amount of active items you get. Doesn't matter. Game does not care. In the slightest. We have the piss boy himself. Oh, that rock almost got me there. Either way, we got him. Not too bad. Moxie is very, very nice for us here. And another angel deal. Obviously, rosary isn't the best, but it's still nice to have the fire rate. Right, good, good, good. And we carry on down.
speeding through these floors at this point. I mean, our damage is in a really good spot. We've not got anything super intriguing yet, but it's just a it's just a good run. We do have Steven, which is unfortunate because Steven, if you go on that floor when you're on here, you can't go down to the mausoleum, I don't think. Which, yeah, isn't ideal. Well, that was definitely not ideal. I would like to go Steven floor, though. I've got some items I'd be willing to trade out, and I've got decent money, so wouldn't be a bad idea, but sadly, it's not the run for it this time around does happen from time to time. Try my best to not get hit here because I want to keep perfection as long as we can. See what I mean there? Dad's ring just saved me from taking contact damage. That enemy got stopped in its tracks. Very nice. Ooh, random black heart dropper. You, you don't see room drop black hearts very often. It's normally soul hearts. I guess I'll check in here with the amount of keys I have. Uh, it's a six room, so not going to bother with that. I'm pretty happy with my run as it sits. Don't want to change too much about it. Shop is going to offer us Pokego, which I'll take. Pokego is actually pretty decent. Random mini mush. I'll definitely take that. Wasn't expecting it, but hey her. Okay, we got a few of these burn spewers over here. Okay, we did lose a wisp there. Finally, we lost one. Um, Bericus. Nah, I'll take the random. Oh, dude. It's a sad day when the game just refuses to give you anything but active items. It's just, ugh. Here's a bad passive or actives. Or more actives? Or, ooh, maybe another active. God damn. There needs to be like a, a hard limit on how many actives can spawn in one run. That would be a good way to fix things. Because if it means that, ah, oh, unfortunate. It means that if you get like four in a row, this is pretty good for us, I think. If you get like four, um... Actives in a row. It's, it's fine, it can happen, but it means you're not going to get any more actives for the rest of the run. That'd be, that'd be a good way of fixing things, I think. Ooh, this is a very rough room for us here. Because all of these are going to break and spread rocks everywhere. Got to be a little bit cautious. Not actually that hard, but just a little bit overwhelming say the least. We're also, now we've lost perfection, we don't have to be super, super careful. I don't mean, obviously, I'm going to try my best to not get hit regardless, but it's not quite as imperative as it was prior. Bugger Tears is doing its thing. I can't believe Bugger Tears is only a 5% chance. It seems like it's like 20%. You get so many of them. Right. Good extra bomb. Those things scare the shit out of me every single time. I'm loving our... our, our Seraphim baby, whatever they're called. Cher cherub, whatever. I can't remember their name. The Godhead baby. They're doing good work. Don't really remember what you guys do. I'm just going to freeze you with Dad's ring and then kill you. That's all right with you. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that's what that thing does. Wasn't aware. I saw the red circle. I was like, I'm sure that's the danger zone. But I didn't know it was just going to fucking lightning its way towards me. Could you bloody stop? Thank you. Pills I'm not that interested in at this point. My stats are pretty good, so... Don't know why I popped this before the boss, to be honest. There was really no need. I've not seen that item room yet anyways, so... Fortunately, crow enemies are the bane of my existence. Luckily, not too bad this time around. Right. What do you hold for me, Mausoleum? 
Do you hold anything beautiful? Oh god damn. Ah! Uh, been losing a lot of like HP, but honestly, my HP's in such been in such a good place this entire run that it's not that detrimental. It's just a bit stupid is all. But y'all know me by this point, you know I'm a bit stupid. Don't really remember what you do. But I know for a fact that you uh, don't die very easily. God damn. Uh, excuse me, there's a dip in an area that I can't access. Bob's heart. Let's go for some re-rolling here, I think. Yes, please. Mustard seed, thank you. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Angel disc in tow as well. I like that. Mustard seed. It's not the best, but it can be very valuable, especially on mausoleum floors. So I thought, why not take it? Ooh, warp zone. Nice. Warp zone's a fun one. Also, it's cool to see mustard seeds stuck to the enemies like that. I'm just freezing him with Dad's ring every, uh, like every now and again. Working out pretty well. Warps in such a fun idea for a boss. There you go. Nice and easy though. Not too hard at all. Bacon grease I don't really care for. Firing a tier is a chance to shoot out nine ghost tiers that Herman and enemies apply knockback and great tier cooldown after firing. Eyes will glow white if the next shot will shoot ghosts. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't even want the bacon grease. I don't care for it. I mean, there was red hearts on the floor, so really, really, I should have just taken it, but whatever. I like the fact that they adopt our tier modifiers, these, these ghost tiers. It's pretty cool. It's a good idea. Good idea for an item. I like it. And the fact, obviously, that they're herming too is... Never a downside. We got all these ghosts to deal with. Easy. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is cool. It seems that it fires them pretty darn often, too. I like the way they have that, like, moment of, like, pausing in the air. Nugget bombs are actually pretty good with this amount of bombs. Not with this amount of damage, though. Let's take a gamble. Hey, knockout drops. Not an active item. Huzzah, huzzah. I feel like a whole new man. We only have one luck, so luck-based things aren't going to happen all that often, but that's no problem. I just feel happy to, like I said, not have an active item for once. Just game just keeps throwing in my way. It'll never stop. Oh. Okay, that was one of mine. I see. Ooh, we got a card there that I don't recognize. Unfortunately, there's really not much I can do about this room. Oh, here we go. We got one of these guys. This is what we're looking for. Getting one of these guys on Mustard Seed um, creates some shenanigans, so to say. Yep, he just resummoned that wall guy as my friend. This dude's mine now. Can you just, just, can you just land? Oh, dude! Crows, can you land in a place where I can actually attack you, please? This is tedious. Beautiful. Yeah, so basically at the minute I'm clearing as many rooms as I can to get as many respawns as I can from this uh, dude. He's, he's resummoned another one of himself as well, so... Things get really out of hand with these guys. It's quite fun. Mustard Seed plus going to the mausoleum is fairly broken. And they do carry over to the next floor as well, so... 
It stays broken. I'm very confused about where I am right now. There you go. Of course, he can't just die straight away to mum here, but... It's not super likely. Right, grab that, that. Check boss rush just in case. Nah, nothing there that's super valuable. <laughs> and the, 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 basically, the longer we've got these two purple guys around, every single room we go to, they're going to generate more and more familiars, and we're just going to have this constant army until they die. Which, as you can imagine, it's harder and harder for them to die because we get stronger and stronger every room. Pretty awesome. Are you going to resummon the whale? Yes, you are, baby. Yes, you are. Barely fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Now, it does It does eventually start lagging the game quite a bit. I can already, already feel it a little bit as I walk into each room. Wanna resummon? There you go, baby. You resummon them bad boys, why don't you? Oh, and we got Perky Go summoning more things as well, so that's nice. Do you guys want to have at that? There you go, resummon all of us. <laughs> Apparently there's something still alive in this room, which I kind of fail to believe, but... Yeah, things have um, things have slowed down considerably now. Like I said, this combo is pretty busted. A lot of fun. Is there a Soleon of Apollyon in here? There is indeed a Soleon of Apollyon. I'm basically absent from this entire run now. <laughs> They just... Who runs the world? These guys do. Finding out where the enemies are is, is tricky. Alright, just, just do your thing. There you go. Resummon that bad boy. Thank you. Also, one great thing about Curse of Conquest is it doesn't recognize what's an enemy and what's a friendly. So, all of these summons are becoming champions and they will stay champions even on the next floor. Want to resummon him? Nah, not these guys, apparently. I'm gonna take some poison damage here if I'm not careful. Right, resummon them, boys. Making his way over. Boom, there you go. Right, boss time. Unfortunately, there's a spike block in here, which has the chance to just absolutely eviscerate all of these guys. I'm unsure why they're not doing any damage. And why I'm not doing any damage, actually. What's going on with Mr. Dead here? Or is it just lagging that much? Okay, I think it's just lagging that much. Toy drum, don't mind if I do. The next floor. <laughs> okay. 
Right, the hardest bit here is just going to be making it to our boss. <clears throat> we have look, this massive zoo. Apparently I got hit by some sort of creep there. It's very, very hard to know what's hitting me. Like, there's apparently still enemies alive in that room. I couldn't figure it out where. Let my guy do his thing. Cool. Really need to be avoiding wrong ways as much as I possibly can here. I like the fact that anything in the middle of the room just gets eviscerated. <laughs> An attack fly appears. Thanks, Pokego. It's really gonna help. You gotta remember as well that Mustard Seed is also still gonna be uh, capturing and turning enemies. I think he... I'm not entirely sure, but I think he can also respawn enemies that, that are my familiars. So he can, like, bring familiars back. I think it's the amount of hearts that are liking the game more than anything. Do you want to summon that guy back in? See if he does. Oh, he does. I think he does. Yeah, there you go. I'll have that guy as well, thanks. <clears throat> like I said, I'm unable to really see what's going on now. There's an enemy in here somewhere. I don't know where or why. Room over? Room over? No? Okay, we got there in the end. Was, was that an eternal heart I saw drop in there? Okay, it was. Why not quickly grab that? Come on, buddies. Come along now. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's just insane how broken this is. Right, try to just keep going. I don't know if the poison does anything to these guys. It doesn't seem to. We summoned a few of those fellas. Don't everyone go into the spikes, please. Oh, God. This room's just going to massacre everyone, isn't it? Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. Just checking to see if my guy can resummon any more of them. Ah, oh, that's annoying. We lost a lot of health and a lot of friends in that room. Wasn't really much I could do about it either. Come on, fella, you resummon some of these guys. If you're feeling up to it. Doesn't look like you are. Oh, there you go. Lovely. Give myself those morbid hearts. Double morbid heart does help out quite a bit. Come on, army. Oh, really? Still not going the right way. It's annoying.
Will I ever go the right way? Hey, he summons more. This has got to be very, very nearly the end of the floor, right? I feel like I've been going for a while, but then again, the lag is heavy. I wait for my buddy to get over there and do his thing. Come on, friend. Oh, he's going, he's going. Grab them all. Yes. More friends. Okay, we are here. Oh, we got a big boy as well. Big boy to end it off is lovely. Don't remember what this big boy does. Okay. Wait for him to be resummoned. There you go. Okay, we are good to go. Let's see how this goes exactly. Probably quite slow to begin with until everything starts dying off. I don't know why they're all gathered up near his arm there. That's not ideal. Yeah, they have- they've all died very, very quickly, because they spawned in a very, like, annoying place. But luckily, they allowed us to kill the first phase pretty quick. We still have some alive, not all of them dead. He's pretty much dead now. Beautiful stuff. Nice easy victory using all of our friends to help us along the way. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.